So, IOT is a website I created a while ago that converts the DOM into images then downloads it into the user's machine. It was done, this application only runs on the client side, so there is no server, everything gets, happens on the client. So, for example, there's a library which I will show you right now, which gets this canvas and uh, converts it into an image. Yeah. So, there is, there is right now eight shapes you can choose from. You can change the color of each shape, and you can also change the background color. So yeah. So the library. So I will show you some examples before I show you the libraries that you will use. So I will start from the start, from the beginning. This is an example of uh, the atoms. This one and this one. This is an example of pentagons. Squares. Unix. I just came up with the names. Uh, this is as a font background. This is when you sh when you zoom out of the page, which means you are viewing it from a really big screen. But as you can see in this image, uh, all the shapes are uh, in the top corner. To prevent this from happening, you can. Uh, I don't think this is col this color uh, shows it, or oh, it's it's clear what happens. But uh, so yeah, you, uh, I think you can see it. All the shapes are in the top corner. But if you refresh the page, they will be divided evenly, which is the case when you will see it from a big screen. Uh, but I don't know if you can hear my uh, PC, but this will um, this might 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 make it uh, run a little, a little bit faster. You can hear the phone, the fan. So yeah, actually, uh, when when you download it as uh, when it, when it's really big, the image could uh, reach 12 megabyte. I think this one is 12 megabyte. And will take time to render, but uh, yeah, which I, I think I'll just show you the libraries that I'll be using throughout this uh, series. So the first one, I think, I think a lot of you noticed it's particle JS. I will use that to create the uh, images. All the shapes, by the way, are from uh, particle JS. All of them, even this one. Yeah, all of them. So as you can see, some of them, all of them, reacts when you hover over them. This one like light up and the 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 hole inside of them disappears. I think when you go to the circles, they light up just they just light up. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the other thing is the style. This is a framework. This is not not a framework. I think. A CSS library called Ness, so it looks like an 8-bit uh, CSS. <laughs> it's cool, and uh, it, th this this dialog. So uh, I think th this is something. This library does not use jQuery. It does not use JavaScript at all. So this model is the this dialog is at the native HTML dialog. So to use this, I think right now it's only works on Chrome, but uh, we'll be using this polyfill to make it works uh, on, on Firefox, as an example. This is the best time for me using a polyfill like this. So yeah, this will make uh, the dialog native HTML5 uh, works on Firefox. Uh, the other thing is converting the DOM to image, which this library will help us to do DOM to image. I will link all of these in the description. Um, the other thing, if if you noticed when you download the image, the name of the image is this string. This is a UUID, so I'll be using that. And uh, the final thing is the down the process of downloading the image. So this is usually most of people do it by sending a request to the server, and then returns. Uh, which with with a response with tells which tells the browser to download this response as a PNG or, to, or whatever, but in this case since we are rendering the image in the client and downloading it 
from there there is no server I'll be using this one this library called the file server which uh, uses the blob uh, API yeah so I think that's it that's it so each video will be a commit inside uh, github which which you can reference and hopefully I, th I think the people who can benefit from this uh, videos are just maybe beginners who want to do something or uh, see how I, th I think just beginners yeah I learned I started uh, by watching people doing projects on YouTube and uh, but, but the code is not I will be using angular it's not professional it's just just code just normal code